So the mini challenge this week is actually one of my favorites. It's the branding challenge and the girls have to sell us a soda. So Rue doesn't care about our f***ing general health. What about the increased risk of gout, Rue? Just kidding, I have a Dr. Pepper addiction. Tina Burner really knows her brand. It is the colors red, yellow, and orange. Those are for sure in the commercial. Hell yeah! I actually thought her commercial was pretty good because you could follow it, which I could not say for a lot of the girls. When they were showing Utica preparing for her challenge, I thought it was gonna be a lot better than it was, but it is so chaotic. When she was sucking the milk out of the udders, I did laugh and I thought, oh, is that gonna be her soda? Like, udder milk? But it wasn't. It was something else. Olivia's brand is Liv? I don't know about all that. I feel like Olivia's brand is like tiny purse. <laughs> I did laugh at Got Mick sort of farting and it being gross and then farting and it being sexy, but I do think it's a leap to be like, this is a soda that actually doesn't do anything. It's just a funny commercial. And I guess the point of this is just to be funny, but I guess it's also to sell a soda. I don't know. Candy is hilarious. I didn't really get the heighten at the end where it was milk. Also, why was there so much milk on set? Where are they getting all this milk? No. Rosé's Rosade is a hangover cure that also makes you feel like you are perfect even though you are not. Again, complicated. I do think it's really funny and I think she had an opportunity to really have fun with the judges here, so yes. But the only soda that I think was executed well in terms of promotion and comedy was Simone's. Again, sweet tooth. Everybody got a sweet tooth. You were singing it after. Simone was hilarious. Okay, so Beast Couture. Candy comes out and it's like Ornacia's little cousin. I don't know. Simone, this is hilarious. I love a slutty fox in denim, but isn't that just kind of like a furry costume you can order on Amazon? Same thing with Olivia. Isn't that just sort of like a Teletubby costume with horns? This is not couture. I actually loved Utica's runway look. Was it the most fashion forward thing that we've seen? No, but it was clean and well executed. And also she took the judge's note of just modeling the garment. So you can see a sort of progression there. Got Mick, I think this is cute. This is not really her best. I do, however, love that her nipples were the nostrils of the big eyed monster. The nipples or the eyes of the face. Bimini was robbed. Bimini was robbed! I think this is one of Tina's best runways. I loved a sort of stitched together by a serial killer Build-A-Bear moment, but the best runway here, the one that really said like Beast Couture in an original way for me was Rosé. I mean, this is really, really, really good. And I think pushed her forward to win because there's two winners, Simone and Rosé. And I'm really happy it feels like they counted the runway this week because Simone won the challenge, but Rosé, Kill the wrong way. So the bottom two is Utica and Tina Burner, and Utica does win the lip sync to my humps. I think the judges were just kind of done with Tina at this point, just because the brand is just getting a little bit repetitive, whereas Utica feels like she might go somewhere. There's still a possibility that she'll surprise Rue. Tina is a legend and amazing, and she's done what she's done on Drag Race, and we had fun watching it, but like, I get it. I do get it. I think Olivia should have been on the bottom though. For me. For me. See you next week when Bimini was robbed.